welcome back to Blair Witch with the Nomads. Have you wandered into our space in the woods? Yes. Welcome we, to our neck of the woods. Yeah. <laughs> we have indeed been wandering in the woods, and it's not fun. Nope. Yes. This is one place that maybe it's not good to actually wander. Yeah. Is the woods in the so middle it's of still the night. Standing. But let's wander anyways. Let's yes, do we it. wander anyways. To the maintenance shed. Uh, ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Ooh, oh, this path lit up. Somehow that almost makes it worse. <laughs> It's always like, go here, death approaches. <laughs> death like, awaits you. Yeah, like if you see that, it's like, oh, like someone lives there, but who is living out in the middle of the woods? It's either some like really eccentric person or a serial killer. True. Yeah. And either way, you're not gonna, you probably won't have a great time. Oh, yeah. Oh, Protestant. Protestant. Okay. Oliver Marley. I think these are all of his comrades that he lost to. That makes sense. That's sad. That is sad. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Why is the light flickering in the other room? Because I don't like it, guys. It's strobing. It's having a rave. Tappy Creek or Tappy East Creek Timber Company maintenance shed inventory pressure gauge uh, brass valve. That's what we need. Yeah. Bell, canvas fire hose, dry belt, pressure gauge, roof. Uh, make an order for more valves. Camp B took the last one for their steam donkey, and now we're out of spares. Stan. Stan. So we have to go back to Camp B, but... I have no idea how to get there. I think I remember. We were in there last episode. <coughs> That's good. Cool. We're only getting in from here. <coughs> Are you just move stuff. He's just like, oh no, can't go in there. No, honestly, like, look at, like, take a second. Just move the door. <laughs> yeah, just move the door and kick some boxes over. Well, like, on, like it's it's not even heavy. <laughs> well, you know, oh no, my gosh. No can do. I can't do it. Uh, he's not strong enough. He's not strong okay, enough. Right. I'm sorry. That's got to be really weak. That's truly, it's a door. It's not that heavy. Creepy. Creepy, yes. Serious? S serious. Serious? Can't, you know, break a window or like anything else? No. Nope, not at all. Sometimes video game physics drive me nuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you crawl in? Oh. That is a good question. That looks about right. Crawly crawl. I can't. Are you serious? Why is that even there? Just to be frustrating? Come here, bro. Whoa, did someone just say come? That was me saying come here for the dog. Oh. I thought it was the creepy lady. She seemed to kind of be into Ellis, I'm just saying. Nothing there. Yeah. What do you mean nothing? You're walking in there, just pick it up! Go on, doggo. Oh, yeah, maybe you can call him from the other side. Oh, there yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, there we go, fetch. Okay, I was pressing the wrong button. Seriously, also, yeah, I hate, um... Oh, it's a good boy. <laughs> that... That didn't take me out of the, uh, out of the ocean at all. <laughs> Suspend your disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> but it literally glitched into his mouth. <laughs> one down, one to go. Alright, we got the pressure valve. We All just right. need the the gear now. Yes. Also, where is he keeping these? In his pocket? Hopefully his We button. never ask. <laughs> he's like one of those Looney Tunes characters who just pulls things out from behind his back. He's like, I have it yeah. here. The infinite back. Infinite back, yes. We're hoping that it's the back and not anything <laughs> else. Oh my god. Oh. The treasure's untold. <laughs> the treasure's untold. Yeah. Some might say, uh, boundless treasures, infinite wealth, your booty, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> can't be. Again with the 
flailing of the damned. I get it. You're trying to be scary, but... Uh. Welcome to Camp Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we belong. <laughs> Camp Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? Like, you get whoop? I don't know what that was. Ominous lights guiding the way again. Yeah, nothing, uh... Heal. Nothing scary here. Just a nice light. Although, actually, it would be better to be in the light. That other thing is, uh... Yeah. Zoomy boy is out there. Yeah. Oh, that might be important. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's the boom food brothers. that got us. <laughs> We're walking through the woods one day. Chris and I saw something strange. <laughs> <laughs> Are you singing the theme song? Yes. <laughs> Zabufu got angry that they canceled his show. Now he's out for blood. Oh gosh. Why did the lights all go out? I don't like that. Kind of reminds me of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Bendy and the oh, yeah. Ink Machine. While running in the woods one day. <laughs> Where is he going? I don't know. How did they get there? Come, Come on, on, let's go. Me and, and you and Zabufu. Come on, on, let's see what's new. We're doing what all the animals do. <laughs> you guys remember more than I do. <laughs> and I think I saw it more recently than both of you, because I was showing it to my kindergartners a year or two ago. Oh, that's awesome. They liked Peppa Pig better. I was disappointed. Oh, that is disappointing. God. Freaking Peppa Pig. I, I remember, like, watching an episode of Peppa Pig, because, like, one, we were on a trip with the kids that I work with, and we were in the hotel room, and... We usually don't have cable TV, but they they love it when we go on trips because they get to watch like all of the really dumb kid shows they have now. <laughs> but like oh one of them being Peppa Pig, they were all like, "Let's watch Peppa Pig," and I was all like, "Oh no!" And there was an episode where the dad pig was like jumping rope or whatever, and there was like a pit of like wet concrete, and I was all like, "He's gonna get stuck in that, isn't he?" <laughs> and then as soon as it happens, I'm all like, "Yes." Yes! Yes! And the kids are like, that's horrible, Ms. Ms. Maverick! And I was all like, I don't care. <laughs> that's so funny because I haven't seen that much Peppa Pig, but the one that I've kind of seen is where the daddy pig gets stuck also, like, in a in a playground. Oh my like, there's a theme here with him getting stuck. He just is they getting stuck. They make fun of him for his weight, I think, too, a couple of times yeah. or something. Or that, no, that actually might have been a voiceover. I don't know if they actually do that in the show or not. I, they, they do, actually. They're like, Daddy, you're so big! <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you're what? such a fat ass, Daddy! <laughs> and it's just like, why, why are they putting this in a children's show? Seriously, it's like, let's yes, not we're going teach to... children to body shame yeah, at a young like... age. <laughs> Sorry, what, Maverick? Oh no, I was just saying, let's teach children how to fat shame people, because that's productive, I guess. I don't know. I don't, gosh. No. Yeah, not into Peppa Pig, personally. No, the only thing I like, every once in a while, it would be something like sassy that I would just go like, <laughs> just do, there was this one where like, it was, I think it was the kids, um, like doing like a band concert or something, and it was just like, it showed the parents just like struggling to get through it. <laughs> and like, if you're a kid, you're not really going to pick up on it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to pick up on the absolutely hor horribly sarcastic way that the parents are talking about it. Or I think at one point, like, an eye twitched as they're, like, listening. There's like, ah. But it was just so funny, because I'm like, <laughs> It's very relatable, because, like, when you're when you're a child, and you're trying to play instruments along with other children, like, it, it does not sound good. Yeah. Oh, it's awful. Um, no, yeah, we found, the other day, we found a uh, big drive with, like, all of our old videos on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, both Pluto and I, we're both in band in middle school and high school. And we found one of our middle school band oh, concerts. Boy. Or was that high school? Uh, no, it was middle school, right? Well, I remember the one with me where I just had, like, a like a kill you expression on my face. Kill <laughs> you. Because Pluto yes. is a, uh, she, she is a, I can't, I can't think of another way to describe it other than oh, resting witch face yeah <laughs> ah yes very much so 
And, uh, yeah, if you don't, like, know her as a person, she's not the only person that I know like this, either. Um, my, one of my other very good friends, I thought she hated me because of her face. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be my <laughs> You can laugh! She's still, she's one of my closest friends now, but I legit thought she hated me. Um, Pluto's a very kind, hilarious, wonderful, warm person. <laughs> but because she has RBF, <laughs> Sometimes people can misinterpret that. Yeah, that actually happens fairly happened fairly recently too. Yes, it did. Yep, where like we stayed up until like freaking three and five in the morning, and like of course I'm like dying and trying to stay awake, so I'm like I'm like more grumpy and slightly more edgy, but I thought I was being edgy in like a humorous way. I was trying not to be mean, mm -hmm. and I. And one of my friends just looked at me and he's like, do you need to talk? And I'm like, no, I'm good. And then I, I completely modified myself afterwards. Like, I took the edge out because I think they were taking me too seriously. Oh my gosh. I thought it was funny, too. Like, I did not think it was too funny. Yeah, because you know me, you know? You've I mean, known me my whole life, so. It's very true. Yeah. The kids will, like, I'll be, like, focused on something. And I have, like, for me, it's like, I have arresting like pissed off face like when I am focused on something or my, oh, my, my focus my work face is what I'll call it sometimes because I'm like working on something and the kids will be like are you good you look like you want to punch something and I'll yeah. go like no I'm just focused on something I'm, I'm, fi I'm fine I'm fine Dude. yeah I get that when I read and people like look at me and they're like you're okay it's a good book <laughs> so, I'm reading okay I am not great. Where? Uh, where? <laughs> yeah, it seem seem like you're kind of struggling. <laughs> I am really struggling. Do you want me to look up a walkthrough? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can actually interact with the friggin' fuse box this time. Yeah. Nah. Fuses. That wasn't there. Was. Before. Oh my gosh! It was oh. totally a glitch. Okay, so then I think if you go onto the deck, the fuse is missing. Yeah, like you'll be able to get the new thing. I cannot believe that. That was Worst ridiculous. Scenario? Going blind. Worst scenario is you can't pick up anything. Yes, yeah, seriously. Oh my god. It, yep. it's, it wasn't even it wasn't there. there. Wow. Oh, wow, okay. Well, that's really annoying. Yeah. Wow, never thought that I would encounter one of those sorts of glitches. Yeah. Where, uh, like, a key part of, like, the way to get out and stuff is, like, not available. That took you less than a minute. Less we're, than 30 seconds. And we we're gonna cut a lot of that out, but, like, we were wandering around for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, what do we do next? Where do we go? I'm no poor Maverick's just wandering. Like, I don't know. Oh, I know we're wanderers, but good lord, I'm tired of wandering. <laughs> Aimlessly wandering. Uh, they sigh. Sorry, we're eating like all your popcorn. You're fine. <laughs> this is delicious. It's white cheddar. White it's cheddar popcorn. Oh. Yeah, yeah, some more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> Pluto's like, I won't. <laughs> have you guys ever seen, um, I know you have because you showed me. <laughs> the, uh, so the power hour that the Game Grumps do when they did ah! ASMR. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh my gosh. It was so funny and so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And also, I am somebody who does not like ASMR. And the way they did it is so much worse than normal ASMR. It was Horrendous. Yeah, we'll definitely have to show you because it's pretty funny. Yes. Yep. Ladylike. No, I know. Charming. No, not something I have ever I think, been accused of as being ladylike <laughs> in my life. That's the maintenance shed right there, but I can't. Uh, I, can't I love how you said accused of being ladylike. Yes, being accused being of being ladylike. ladylike. They're being you're, ladylike over there. You're acting just like a lady. No, I'm not. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'll prove you wrong. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Just let here. me climb up here, please. Beavers have built the dam. No. You will not cross. No. <laughs> Demonic beavers. Can you not? Is there not a path that just keeps going to where you need to be? Mm -mm. That's frustrating. This is it. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't a glitch. <laughs> 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 this one is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to sound. Well, <gasps> gee, I wonder if that pressure gauge that's right over there might be something you could grab. No, never could happen. Never am. We should do it. We got it! Ooh. Finally. That's the timer. That is the timer. All so, right. yay, small victory. We got the piece and Ooh. we fixed the problem. Ooh. Next time, we fix the donkey machine, I think is what it's called. <laughs> Why is it called a donkey machine? <laughs> I think it's because it's like, like a donkey. It like carries and pulls things, maybe. It's just an ass, oh. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Both good explanations, I like it. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though, so far it's been a pain in the ass to fix the darn thing. Yeah. I know. Alright, cool. Well, happy wandering, yes. and we'll see you in the next episode. Yes. <laughs>